We have a finish. All right, guys, I finished my Lola Rose Beauty and the Bear. Let's go talk about it. Hello, shiny, happy people. Welcome to Kim's Crafts. My name is Kim. And if you're new here, hello. Thank you for stopping in. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. Um, so I've been promising this video for this week. This is a review of the canvas from Lola Rose Diamonds. And it is called Beauty and the Bear. It was 60 by 70 centimeters with 52 colors and two ABs. And I did a full unboxing of this. If you are interested in seeing that, you can hit the playlist of unboxings and it'll be in there. I did this canvas for the hashtag run free DP along that's ending, I think today actually. So I have to post my, my uh, finished picture on uh, the Facebook group, but we're here to talk about this. So as you can see, it's extremely cute. I mean, very colorful. Look at the colors. I mean, honestly, okay. So I really enjoyed working on this canvas. It was, it is a round, so it went by quicker. I did it for the whole, I started it on um, the 1st of May. So this was a May event and I worked on it for 13 days of that month, okay? So I didn't work on it every day. I'm doing other projects. Um, and I spent a total of 38 hours and 24 minutes on this canvas in those 13 days. And I was able to finish it. There was a lot of, there was a decent amount of confetti. I'm sure you can see confetti is multiple color changes in a small area, but there was also a lot of um, color blocking. So I was able to utilize the multi-placer quite a bit. So that helped make the, the um, process go by faster. Um, not necessarily that you just want to rush through these anyway, but I did take on a lot in the month of May. So I guess I kind of did feel like I was trying to rush through this. Anyway, um, so let's talk about the canvas. What were the pluses? So the pluses is it's cute. I mean, this is adorable. They're holding hands. They're looking at each other. They're best friends. They love each other. Um, I, I, I adore the picture, the background, the splashes of color, the lantern that's like illuminating everything. I love it uh, off the trees. I, I just love the actual picture. Um, another plus was the drills, there wasn't a crazy amount of trash. Uh, this is this is what I collected, which isn't too bad. I mean, considering for the whole canvas, right? Um, the kind of trash that there was, it was very similar to Star Ore, where there was the little dots, like little pellets, but there wasn't as many. And there wasn't um, a lot of like, where the drills were cut in half. So it was, it, it the, the trash was not a bad thing. The drills, you know, are, are super sparkly. You saw when I was, you can see, you know. Um, so the drills were not an issue. I didn't run out of any. I had plenty of everything. Uh, I don't know why, but when I am diamond painting, I'm always worried about that. Like, I always feel like, oh, I still have so much of the painting to do and there's only this much left of this color, but yeah, I, I had plenty, plenty of everything. So that was not an issue either. Um, and this the, the canvas was very sticky. It was very easy to work with. It was easy to slide the drills on if I made a mistake. Um, there was no parts of the canvas that the drills weren't sticking to. So that made it, you know, very fun and easy to do. And the stickiness doesn't run over the edge too much. It does a little bit, just, just a tiny bit, 
But as you can see, I don't have washi tape on my edges and they're not dirty. And I didn't do rows. So it wasn't, I, I was like all over the canvas because I did it differently. And I did tape all of my week's finishes and I'll add it at the end of this video if you guys wanna see. So I started, I, I finished the top here, week one, week two, I just did the outside of Belle on this side in the middle here. And then week three, I did um, this whole area and in between them again. And then week, and I saved Belle and the, um, Belle, I keep calling her Belle, but Beauty and the Bear for the last. And um, I filled those in in week four. So it was fun doing it that way. Uh, I, you know, up here was a little rough because it was just like all the same colors. But then when I started to get down near Bell, these pops of color was just, it made it a lot of fun to do. So that was fun. Um, and like I said, I, so I was all over the canvas. I was working on this side and this wasn't completed yet. I was working down here and they, they weren't completed yet. And still the sides are not dirty from, you know, my sweater or my arm laying on it because the sticky doesn't go too far beyond the actual painting. Um, and then just overall, it was fun to do, you know, it was fun to do it, break it up that way, do it a little differently because I am, I've been like a strict row per row per row per row. Um, so it was fun to kind of tackle this in a different manner. I, I, I really enjoyed that. Okay, the cons. So the canvas is kind of wrinkled. And it's funny because there's like a disclaimer when you buy it. It's like, like canvas may arrive wrinkled and it was but it didn't, they didn't come out. The wrinkles didn't come out. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, you know, I hung it up so I didn't re-roll it and, it's, and it continued to wrinkle. There were actual wrinkles, I think, in the diamond painting area and those did come out, so that's good. I mean, if you were to uh, frame this and just cut this off, then it's not a big deal. If you were to paint it. Um, I guess you could try ironing it beforehand. I've never done that before. I haven't even framed one of mine yet, so I don't, uh, um, but I will, it will happen. I just, um, I'm having more fun just diamond painting through them than I am figuring out which ones I'm hanging up. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I'm sure that you could iron that. I know that some people have ironed them and, you know, the wrinkles come out. So that's one thing I did notice. Um, so the disclaimer is true. Okay. Um, and then one thing that really like, I was like, oh no, this isn't good. When I first started was, and I'm going to insert a photo here, um, because I did take a picture of it so you could understand. That's a lot of the dark colored drill um, drill areas. Uh, there was not training wheels, but the dark colored areas, some of them had very, uh, had a white background circle and it was a big circle. So you had to place it exactly on it or it would show the white in between the drills and I would I was like obsessively like trying to straighten them and they and I don't know if it was because the glue or what but it would kind of just shift back and so especially under the 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 light you could see it. So I'm trying to see if you can see it here. You see right here. Do you see that? So it's like, it's not as obvious, obviously, without the night, the, the light pad underneath, but you see that? It's 
pretty much everywhere there's like dark drills. And this is like, I guess being, being um, super picky, but it bothers me a little bit. Um, no, that's not one. I'm sorry, I'm, this, this new stand is great in setting up, but if you hit it even just a little bit, you see that? So it's like all over, okay? And no matter how many times you try to straighten it, because you guys know I'm a straightener, and you push it and you push it, um, they just kind of like revert back and then they show that circle. It obviously was not an issue on any of the light colors, but on the dark colors, um, yeah, like you could sit here and straighten all day to try to cover that. Um, but you know, me standing here, like here, I can see some of them. Like you see me, I, I can see some of them. I can sit here and fix them and see them. But I, you know, if it was behind a glass and you were looking at the painting like a normal person, um, then it wouldn't be an issue. But that, that kind of like bummed me out in the beginning. And then I just was like, just keep going, just keep going. And, and then it was fine. But I don't know if you can see, I, I keep trying to show you guys, but you get the idea. Okay. So that was one of the things that I didn't like. And then another thing I don't like, and I just, I don't like it, is her face. I don't like the colors. I mean, they're like red, orange, and brown, and I don't know. They're just not not crazy about it. Not crazy about the face at all. I, I don't like the colors of the face. I, I think it's weird. She looks like a robot or something. I don't know. Not, not my favorite. If I were to hang this up, I would probably try to change that. I mean, I understand that there can't be a whole lot of, because it's not very close detail as far as the eyebrow and the eye and the lips. That's fine. But like, why is she orange and I don't know, brown or whatever. I don't know. Like, I don't even know what that color is. Khaki? <laughs> like, it just is weird to me. Um, the bear, I freaking love the bear. I'm sorry, I love the bear. He is so cute and I just love, you know, the colors on him and then you see the snow. So there's a lot of this painting that I like and then, you know, a couple things that I would probably change if I were to hang this up. I'm still debating. Honestly, it would depend on how much how much wall space I have in my craft room. Um, I would probably, if I get around to it, frame a lot of them and then rotate them out and as the mood. Like maybe this would be a winter painting, you know, that would be fun. Um, or I could give it to my niece if if her if my brother and his wife like it. You know, of course she's welcome to it. Um, but yeah, I think. Overall, I'm really happy I did this. I love the actual painting and the picture, and it's it's really pretty to look at. Like, and when I look at it in the camera, like it does have like depth, and it just looks like like it just it is gorgeous. I just love it. I do, but there's just those little things that I'm just trying to be completely transparent here on um, the goods and the bads, and yeah, but overall. It was a fun painting to work on and uh, I really did enjoy it. And I would absolutely um, do another Lolo Rose, 100%. Um, you know, because it's a craft. I mean, there's gonna be things you don't like about probably all of them, right? And overall, it's the experience and the experience was really good. I didn't run out of any drills. The quality was, you know, very good. So I, I would definitely do it again. So I will pan over this for you so you guys can get a little close up. And um, yeah, I'll be right back.
Okay, so that was the canvas. And I don't know, you guys tell me, what did you think about her face? What do you think about the colors? Do you, do you think it makes sense? Because they are in the dark, they're in the middle of a forest, and all they have is this lantern for light, um, which I think is the whole premise of the colors of her face. But you guys, tell me what you think. What do you think about it? I, uh, uh, overall, I love it. I, I really do. So that's all I have for you today. If you liked this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And if you want to see more from me, you can hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. And it will let you know when I upload videos. Uh, they are seeming to come become more frequent and frequent, aren't they? Um, after this, I will have, you know, week one, two, and three, um, just to show you how much I did or how I did the actual progression of this canvas. So you guys have a wonderful week and thanks for stopping by. Take care. Keep diamond painting. But this is my week one progress. I finished just this two rows basically. And so my plan is, I thought I would do this canvas a little differently and I thought it would be fun if I did it like this. I'm going to go down so you can see where I put the, the um, release paper. So for week two, I'm going to do all of the background around beauty, okay? I'm going to do all of the background around beauty. For week three, I'm going to do all of the background. And um, for week two, I'm gonna do the middle part here. For week three, I'm gonna do all the background around the bear and here. And then week four, I'm gonna fill in them. I'm gonna leave them uh, for last. So I thought that would be fun to do. You can see it's all just background. Um, so far, I wanted to get further. I actually wanted to do this whole row for week one as well but I really want to work on my diamond painting Deutschland and I picked up overtime this week. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really spreading myself thin here. Uh, so this is what I ended up getting done for week one. And um, yeah, I love the trees. I love the trees. I, 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 I think it's so beautiful. You can see the shine on here, wow. And when you look through it through the camera, it almost looks like there's a tunnel, right? Like the trees are overhanging and it goes out. Um, and you can see out past the trees. But I just love it. And I love the little accents. Uh, it, uh, even my husband was like, it looks like cherry blossoms. And it does. And I love cherry blossoms. That was a huge part of our uh, wedding theme. So I, I love cherry blossoms. But... Yeah, that's how far I've gotten so far. That's the plan. So next time I do a video for you guys on this canvas, I will hopefully have this whole side done next to beauty and the middle part here. And uh, I think that it'll be fun to see what the canvas looks like with everything done but beauty and the bear and then get beauty and the bear done for week four. So that's my plan. I'm sticking to it and I'll keep you guys updated. And yeah, take care. Keep diamond painting. Hello, shiny, happy people. Oh, look at my, you can see my tootsies. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hello, shiny, happy people. Uh, so this is week two and, um, this is going to be in the video of Beauty and the Bear and my update. Um, so I'm still going with my plan. Beauty is not drilled at all. You can see. Let me pick this up. So I went all around her. so far. Look how gorgeous those colors are. Yes. I'm loving the splash of color. Uh, the colors are just gorgeous. 
Um, so yes, this is week two. And honestly, I wanted to do up to here on, on um, beauty. And, um, but I have limited time this week because I picked up overtime. So I've decided to stop here. I've been working on this all day. Oof. And um, I want to, I, I'm going to have more time next week than I have this week because of all the extra uh, shifts that I picked up this week. Next week, I'm going to have no extra shifts. Um, so I figure I'll be able to do more next week than I can this week. And I'll do this side of the outside and all of this and then the middle in between them. Um, on the bottom because I did the middle on the top. I also figure the bear is chunkier. So <laughs> I'm hoping that there's less over here to do. So uh, I'll make up with it here. So I think the bear is chunkier than, be uh, the, than beauty. But we'll see. <laughs> um, I think he looks fluffier and chunkier. But that's the plan. So this is this is where I ended on week two, and I'm gonna take a I'm gonna snap a photo of it, and I'll post it on the uh, hashtag Fly Free DP Alongs uh, week week two progress. And uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm so glad that all this color happened because I I was getting kind of bored of all just the dark and then just a tiny splash of color up here after working on my diamond painting Deutschland and I was I really wanted to I'm like oh I, I want to work on that one so bad but I needed to get my week two done so when I started to really hit all the color it was like yes I was loving it it's, it just made it so beautiful and I just love the way it's coming out. So that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to update you for week two on the final video that I'll be posting and let you let you see how much I got done. And I will be back next week with week three. All right, guys, take care. Keep diamond painting. So this is the end of week three. And I did all around them. I even did in between and all of this. I did not do the lantern. This is still sticky. But we had all around them. And uh, on the bare side, there was a lot more color. You can see. I didn't do his tail. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be what I do for week four is the actual beauty in the bear. And I love the colors, I love it so far. It was really um, a lot of fun to do. So I will check back in with you next week.